Hi guys, today I am going to be sharing with you a process video for a Project Life Spread. I'm going to be using the Pot Fizz Paper February subscription box. I'm going to link that below so that you can go and check that out. It's a monthly subscription that you can get every month. It's really reasonably priced and I love all the items that come inside the kit. I'm going to be using those to do this spread. I'm going to go over all of my supplies real quick. The first thing I have is some Instax pictures that I printed out ahead of time. I figured that would just save some space. It was my husband's birthday in February and the theme for February was donuts so I thought it was absolutely perfect. It came with this really gorgeous pretty glittery washi tape that I'm going to be using. This pink pen that I really really like. It's a big Atlantis and it does write in pink so I'm going to be using that for my journaling. I have two sheets of stickers from Pop Fizz Paper. I love these and I thought they would work out really well. These here on the left say a date night. Look how cute those are. And these are donut quotes and they're just so cute. I can't even handle how cute those are. <laughs> I just have this one small piece of ephemera. This is from my own collection. It did not come in the kit, but the kit included these gorgeous donut stickers. Look at how cute and pretty these are. I love the craft paper that, that's used in the background. I think it matches back to the papers that came in the kit really, really well. So I'm gonna be using those donut stickers. Here are the three papers that came in the kit. They are gorgeous. We have these donuts with sprinkle background. And this here that's really fun. This reminds me of party and donuts and cake and birthday. So I think those are going to be perfect. I love the donuts on the blue background. I think it's really cute. And this is super adorable too. It says, don't worry, be happy. And I think that's really, really cute. We have this paper here that's my favorite. I love the way the yellow is incorporated in the background of this. And then we have the sprinkle paper as well. So because these stickers here have the craft background, I figured that I was going to add that into this spread as well. I just went and got three plain pieces of craft paper from my stash to incorporate back with these papers. I think it's going to work out really, really nicely. And I think the craft paper will be a really nice addition to this spread because I'm going to be creating my own Project Life cards. And then I just pulled some well, alpha stickers from my stash that I think are going to work really well with the colors that are in the kit. Now here is the Becky Higgins Project Life page that I am going to be using, this pocket page. It has the four four by six and it has the four uh, two by three cards. So I think that'll work out really well. Um, I have my trusty tape, my plus tape. The only difference in the colors is the size. This is a thicker solid, this is a thicker dot, and this is a very thin dot. So just depending on what I'm gluing down, I like to have a choice. So those are all my supplies, guys. Let's get into this video. I'm going to speed it up and I'm gonna probably do some voiceover as well. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut the pattern paper that came with the kit to create my own cards. And I really love that this kit comes with its own pattern papers. And I'm gonna take these larger donut papers and I'm gonna use them for the four by six slots. And then I'm gonna use this smaller pattern, which is the sprinkles, for the smaller pockets. Now, I'm not 100% sure that this is the pattern I'm going to go with, but I never pre-plan pre anything, so I'm kind of just gonna go with the flow. It will change a little bit as we progress through the video, but you will see all the changes as they happen. This is kind of the idea that I have. I'm putting down the pictures. We went to dinner two separate nights, so I want to include both dinners in that, as well as the birthday cake slices. And we're gonna zoom into the first card the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this photo of the first restaurant and I'm going to mount it on craft paper. The reason why I'm putting it on craft paper is because I want it to stand out from that really busy background that's going on with the donut paper. I'm going to take the washi tape that came with the kit as well and I'm going to do the same thing. I want to mount it on craft paper and frame it with the craft paper so that when I put it down that it will stand out really well against that pattern paper and you will see that. I'm just repositioning the tape. I couldn't get it straight the first couple of times and I want to cut that strip 
and I'm going to add it behind the photo and I already love the way that looks. I'm going to use these stickers from Pop Fizz Paper. I love the date night stickers. These are not just great for planners. As you can see, they are great for project life as well. And this one's adorable. It has a heart and says date night. I'm going to put that in the top corner of the photo. I think that looks really, really cute. I'm going to adhere down the washi strip that I created and I'm going to use my tiny attacher to secure it down so it doesn't move. And then I'm also going to glue down the photo and I think that looks really cute. Now I want to add a little bling to this so I'm going to add a rhinestone to the center of the heart on the date night sticker. I think that'll look really cute. Now I want to do something in that white space at the bottom of the photo. I didn't want to stamp directly on the photo because with the plastic coating of the Instax photo I thought it might smear. So I'm going to take my date stamp and I'm going to use my clear Versamark ink and I'm going to use my opaque white embossing powder and I'm going to emboss the date onto the photo. I'm going to just create a little banner that I can add to the photo afterwards. So I'm going to use my heat gun here and I'm just going to heat up the date and I love this opaque um, embossing powder. It's from Zing. It's just really detailed and as you can see the date stamp is very tiny and you can read it just perfectly. So I'm going to cut the little banner here and I'm going to just clean up my mess before I spill the embossing powder, which I'm infamous for. <laughs> and we're gonna add that little banner to the bottom of the photo. I really like the way that came out. So I'm just gonna use my thinner glue runner and put that down and that is adorable. I love the way that came out. You can read the date really good. Now I want to add something else to this. So I'm just kind of looking around. I end up taking out the uh, teal or bluish colored teardrops that came with the Pop Fizz paper stickers as well and this really cute geotag wood veneer that I added to the top left corner. Now I'm also going to add a strip of craft paper here as well. I want to write the name of the restaurant. This is the first time we went to this restaurant so I wanted to remember it and there's kind of a personal joke with me and my husband in this restaurant. We went to it a couple of years back and it was under construction and it looked really scary and we didn't go in and we dubbed it La Scary. <laughs> Now, for my husband's birthday, his friend and his wife wanted to go out with us to dinner and they suggest this place and we just took a chance and went and believe it or not, we loved it. So I'm glad I gave it a second chance. I'm just readjusting the letters there so that they are straight and I'm really happy with how this card came out. It looks super cute and has a lot of texture. I'm going to add that to the pocket and we're going to move on to the next card. Okay, for the next card, I am going to use a photo of the meal that my husband ate, which is salmon, and it was delicious. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to mount the picture on a piece of craft paper. I want it to be able to stand out from that busy background, and I'm just going to trim it so that it fits properly. I don't get too technical about if lines are straight. I figure I want it to look very homemade and crafty. So I'm okay with hand cutting all my lines. And I love those donut stickers, so they're definitely gonna make it on there. Now, I wanted to cover up a little mistake I made with this photo printing. See that black line? I didn't center the picture correctly when I used my Instax printer. So I'm just gonna use a piece of washi tape to kind of cover that photo and just camouflage that little black line. For those of you that have in stack printers, you know the paper is not really cheap, so I didn't want to have to reprint it. And I'm going to use a rhinestone and that washi tape, and I'm going to camouflage the fact that I did not crop the picture correctly. Then I am going to use this cute sticker that says, do not worry, be happy. <laughs> I think that's adorable. And I'm going to round the corner so that it matches with the first card. And I think that's really cute. Now, yes, I know I have it upside down. For those of you that watch my process videos, you know sometimes I look at things upside down to get them right. But I wanted to add some wood veneers. And if any of you follow my Instagram, you know that I'm totally obsessed with these star wood veneers. And I wanted to include some of them on this photo. I think they look really cute. So I'm going to use my Tombow multi-adhesive to glue these down. And this is my adhesive of choice for wood veneers. Totally love it. And I'm just going to add some texture to the left side of that card. And I also added a strip of the pattern paper that says do not 
worry, be happy, and another heart would veneer. And I love the way this card came out. It's got a lot of texture and it's really pretty. So I'm going to consider that card done. We're going to move on to the next card. And here are two pieces of cake. And I promise neither one of them were mine. These are pieces of cake that my husband had. We had went to two different restaurants, one the day before his birthday and one the day after his birthday. It just worked out that way. So I wanted to include both pieces and I will be putting more in on the layout for the other restaurant as we go along and you will see that. So I just used some washi tape and my tiny attacher to attach down the photos. I used a donut uh, saying that says the sweet life and a sprinkle of love. I'm going to round the corners so that they match with the rest of the cards and I wanted these to be really simple. I didn't want to do too much so I'm going to put one on the left side and one on the right. The left side piece of cake corresponds with the restaurant above and his meal and this piece of cake is going to correspond to the restaurant and his meal below for the two different restaurants. In the center I'm going to do some journaling. Now I wasn't really sure what to do here. I had a lot of ideas but what I want to do is create a four by six card and cut it down the center and share it between the two smaller pockets and I wanted to include this birthday kind of looking paper. It just looked really cupcakey and birthday to me. So I'm going to attach the two cards with the washi that came in the subscription kit. Love this purple glitter washi. I absolutely adore it. And I'm going to add in that patterned swirly paper because it's just so cute. I'm going to round the corners. It's just going to make it blend in easier. And then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut this card in half so that it looks like it's one joint card. It's just going to share across two pockets and you will see that when I put it in the layout. I'm going to use my tiny attacher to attach down the uh, papers and I'm going to use this wood veneer that says good times. It's a little large for that size of a card but I got it to go anyway. I'm also going to use that macaroon sticker from the cute donut stickers that came in the kit and I'm just going to use more staples to attach everything down. I already really like the way that's coming out. I'm going to add a rhinestone to the wood veneer and then I want to use another one of these date night stickers and I just really love those and I can't wait to use them in my planner as well. I'm going to do some journaling about the fact that we went to two different restaurants on two different occasions and how we really enjoyed the first restaurant that we went to. And I'm going to add a yellow heart to it. And I really love the way that came out. I'm also going to add another sticker that says The Sweet Life because I just think it's so cute. Now, this one here, I had to cut the pocket to get the carding because it was a little on the tight side. But you guys will see that later. I will show you how it looks joint in the two pockets. So we're going to move on to the next photo, which is the bottom left. And here's the second restaurant that we went to. And I added another donut quote that says, Donut go breaking my heart. This was also a new place and I was hoping that I wouldn't be heartbroken once we ate there. And we ended up liking this place as well. This was an unplanned kind of dinner but it happened anyway and it was definitely birthday oriented so I wanted to include it. Now I'm going to use these yellow tile letters to write the name of the restaurant. It's very hard to see in the video, but in real life it's really simple to read and I like that. I'm going to add a donut sticker up the center because I think that looks so cute. And I'm going to attach down my photos. Now on these photos I did not mat them on the craft cardstock. I wanted them to just be on their own. So I'm going to use my tiny attacher to staple them down. Really love the way this card came out. I'm going to call it done and we're going to move on to the final card. Now this is a picture of my husband at the table with his meal and that second photo was my meal so I decided just not to include it because I wanted this spread to be about him. So I'm going to include his photo on that card and we're going to round the corners again. And then I want to do some journaling here as well. So I'm going to use this little journaling piece that I found in my stash. And at first I did mount it on the craft paper. It doesn't stay on the craft paper and you'll see why. Because I, when I add the sticker to the bottom of it, it doesn't really look pleasing to my eye. So once I put the sweet treat sticker down, I felt like it clashed too much. So I ended up taking the craft 
background out and I like the way it looked without it being mounted on craft paper. Now I'm going to take the pink pen that came in the subscription box. I love this pink pen. I'm obsessed with it. And I want to do the journaling in pink because the journaling in the card that lays just above it is in the black and I like that it contrasts each other like that. So I'm really happy with how that came out. I'm going to add a heart sticker and I'm just looking for something else to add and I have Don't Stop Believing down at the bottom and another rhinestone and we're going to call that done. Guys, my project is finished and complete. I love the way it came out. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I am going to link Pot Fizz Papers a blog and website where you can get the subscription down below. I'm also going to link their Etsy shop. I will include a coupon code where you can receive a discount if you place an order. This is how everything turned out. If you have any questions, just leave them below. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.